This episode is brought to you by North American Herb and Spice, the original Mediterranean wild oregano company. Go to www.p-73.com to learn more about North American's new line of raw Amazon products, including Maco Power, the only available pure non-alcohol liquid extract of raw purple maca. Hi, welcome to Vitamin Junkies. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And we're addicted to good health. Today, we are going to be talking about how to improve your love life with a healthy sex drive. So, <laughs> we'll be looking at the libido. Oui, oui, oui. The libido. There we go. It sounds better. Just speak in French. That's the trick. Oh, uh, oui, oui, libido. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a tangent. Yes, okay. libido. Before yes. we get into that, let's see what JJ's taking today. Okay, um, so libido, of course, is a very in, important concern. Um, so one thing you could do for your libido is uh, something called maca. Uh, maca is uh, also known as Peruvian ginseng. Um, and uh, it's an adaptogen, so it helps with um, helping you adapt to stress, helping you adapt to disease, and it has a, a neat little uh, welcomed uh, additional uh, properties that it actually helps with libido. So that's maca. I've actually taken maca at the Expo East, which is a trade show where you get to see all the latest and greatest products in the health food industry. And I tried it at Utko's booth, and it was liquid form, and it really does give you energy to last you throughout the day. Well, I'm going to give you a libido. Won't go there. Chicka so, bonk, bonk. yes. What is a healthy sex drive? What is libido? Exactly? Okay, so um, uh, a healthy sex drive varies. Um, there's not, you don't open a book and it says healthy sex drive, sex three times a week, Wednesday, Saturday, and Monday, <laughs> right? It, so it's not, it, it's not like that. It depends from person to person. It also depends on people's life situation. Um, if you're having sex every hour, well, that's an interesting life you're leading, but that may be a little bit on the excessive side. Um, whereas um, if you're having sex once a year, then that may, that may be on, 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 on the low side. Um, so it, it kind of depends. And also at the same time, two people have to have partners. It depends what's going on in their life. But you so. don't have to have a partner to have libido. I mean, you can still have a sex drive and still... Correct. Yeah, you can still have a sex drive and you could please uh, yourself in the privacy of your own home. So correct, yeah. So that would kind of be umbrella under that. Okay. So, yeah. so what are some things that affect your libido? Okay, so things that affect uh, your libido are medications. Um, for example, uh, antidepressants. A lot of the antidepressants, uh, Effexor, Paxil, Prozac, um, these medications will actually decrease your, your libido. Um, depression itself will uh, decrease your libido. Um, health concerns, so obviously if you're very ill, if you have a heart disease or you're going through cancer, you know, obviously libido is not going to be the top of your list. Um, also me some mental emotional issues, uh, if you're stressed or you're going through a difficult time, you're grieving loss of a, loss of a loved one. Um, and also just uh, issues, issues within the couple. Maybe uh, you're, you're not having the best of relationship or maybe you're having a strained relationship with your, with your spouse uh, or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Um, and also, too, in some cases, some people may have, um, have um, um, their sexual interests aren't quite clear, so there could be some other stuff going on there. So Sleep deprivation? Sleep deprivation. Uh, kids? Yes. yes. Kids interfere uh, with uh, your sex life. I know when we first had our fir first one, it made a big impact, but it gets better with time. Thank goodness. That's good. That's and good. age. Age was another one. Yeah, age, too. Yeah, yeah definitely, which kind of makes sense because, as I talked about, as I talked about maca, uh, maca is an adaptogen. It's, it's, it's one of the ginsengs. Um, as we age, your libido tends to go down. Although a lot of people out there may say, well, actually, my libido's been going up. So it kind of depends. Like I've, I have some women that are postmenopausal that their libido is higher than the premenopausal. So there are no hard, rich, and rules. I'm sure a lot of you are watching this right now and saying, oh, oh no, my libido, ah, you know. So it, it's different. So, you know, just kind of, you know, general statements, but there's a lot of individuals out, uh, out there, and that's fine, and that's fine and normal. Very so, good. Yeah. So what are some treatments for low libido then? Uh, okay, so um, on, the, uh, on, on the vitamin and supplement side and the herbal side, um, there's a number of herbal products that have an action on the libido. So uh, I talked about Peruvian ginseng, so that's, that's maca. Um, there's, Caribbean, uh, there's Caribbean, no, there's Korean ginseng. 
Uh, for women, there's Damiana. Uh, that's a pretty uh, common product for libido. Uh, for men, there's Tribulus. That's the most common one you see for male libido. Um, and also a very funny one called Hardwood, <laughs> which, is, which is kind of interesting. It's actually the name of the herb. I'm not making it up. Um, horny goat weed actually works for women and for men, and as the name says, it is, uh, you know, it's horny goat weed. I think, it, it's a, I think it's the 14th uh, number one seller in the U.S. Uh, in terms of uh, wow. uh, natural health products. Uh, acupuncture, uh, yep, yeah, uh, counseling um, in a lot of cases if there's issues within the couple or there's the emotional issues you're, you're going through, then obviously you don't want to seek and have a, have a conversation with someone to, to, to work through that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Communication's really key to have Definitely. having a good sex life with yeah. your partner. Of course. Very good. Yeah. So thank you for all these great tips, but it sounds like you really do need to work with a natural health care practitioner to create a plan that's going to work specifically for you and, and what you're going through. Is that right? Oh, definitely, because as I mentioned, there's a number of causes that could be causing your low libido from from mental emotional to drugs to disease so yeah so depending on what your cause is you need to see the appropriate person to help you manage all of that and it's good to know that it's there's nothing wrong with the person there's just things that are contributing factors that could yeah, be exactly uh, I agree I agree well yeah. if you'd like to find a practitioner in your community to help you ad address this issue you can click on the find a practitioner link on our website vitaminjunkies.com yes. while you're there <laughs> you can join the addiction and subscribe to our video podcasts. And while you're there, um, please uh, complete our survey because we would like to find out what types of shows you would like to see. Um, and if you complete our survey, you have a chance to win a $100 gift certificate and cool stuff from Hey Jude. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And let's continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.